Confused about which racing game to play in the Nintendo 64? This great console has an overabundance of racing games. Fear not, dear viewer. I'm here to help. What's going on, YouTube? My name's Alex. This is Ask the Cheese Gaming. This week's review, I'm going to take a look at Cruisin' USA. This is a sequel port to the original arcade game made by Midway. Cruisin' USA was developed by Williams Entertainment and published by Nintendo with a North American release date of December 3rd, 1996. The original arcade game came out in November of 1994. So first off, what is this game? Well, it's your classic arcade style racer that sees you race across the great United States of America. Some of the locales that you might visit are San Francisco or Beverly Hills, California, the desert out in Phoenix, Arizona, Iowa, or, if you make it further in the game, even Chicago. The object of the game is to get through checkpoints as fast as you can and beat seven other racers to come in first place. If you do, you'll advance to the next race. Take first across the entire United States of America and you get to unlock some cars. This takes me actually to the first issue of the game. It's the main four cars that you start with. They all play a bit similar to each other and there doesn't really feel like there's much variety. However, later on in the game, you do get to unlock a Jeep, school bus, and even a police car. So that's kind of a nice touch. The controls for Cruising USA are pretty well your standard fare for an arcade style racing game. When you start off the game, you get to choose manual or automatic transmission, depending on which one you want. And if you choose manual transmission, then it's one button for gas, one button for the e brake, one to downshift, one to upshift. Now, also while you're racing the game, you can also tap B to change the music. So, overall, the controls feel okay, but going through some of the Higher difficulty levels, the drifting can feel super twitchy at times. It can actually make it pretty challenging to properly drift. The Redwood Forest in this level, uh, it just kicks my butt every single time. Just those back and forth zigzag sharp turns. Now, how are the music and sound effects in this game? Well, to be honest, it's a far cry and away from the original arcade experience. It just felt like it was kind of powdered, or excuse me, powered down from that original experience. To be totally honest, oftentimes when I'm playing this game, I find myself just muting the music and just playing my own music in the background. And the sound effects themselves, well, they lack any real impact or hook. So... As I said, it's a far cry in a way from the original arcade experience. But finally, to answer the question, is this game worth picking up and adding to your collection today? Well, to be totally honest, unless you have a ton of nostalgia for the original arcade experience, no. There's plenty of other better racing games that you could play on the Nintendo 64. I actually recently took a look at Ridge Racer 64 which, to be honest, I feel was a better arcade-style racing game than this one. I will say, though, that Cruisin' USA is actually the first in a trilogy of games, which is Cruisin' World and Cruisin' Exotica. Now, from all the research and everything that I've seen and heard here at Ask the Cheese Gaming, a lot of the issues with Cruisin' USA was actually fixed in Cruisin' World. So, if you really want to pick up a cruising game, Go and get World. It's probably the best bang for your buck, and it's not going to completely break your wallet. Well, comparison to Cruisin' Exotica, which is the most expensive of the three. Thanks for watching, everybody, and until next time.